I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Max Sindal and Majd Hylot, founders of Altura NFT. Gentlemen, welcome to the show and thank you for taking the time to come on today. Thank you. Yeah. It's great to be on. Oh, You're so, very um, uh, let me let me, you know, kick it off. I would love to just hear a little bit about Altura NFT, how your team is uh, innovating in the NFT space, bringing smart NFTs, uh, and then we can dive into the details. Max, if you could start us off. Absolutely. So what we're doing on a high level is that we're making gaming items NFTs. So in the traditional gaming world, you, you're seeing that gamers actually don't own their own items. And you know these items now are going over $2 million. And if you don't have ownership of your own items, that's a major issue in terms of that, you know, they don't control their assets within their game. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to democratize that uh, through our gaming NFT marketplace. So what we're allowing is that we work with game developers to make their gaming items NFTs, and then users are able to buy those items, and those items will transfer to right into their game. So it's a revenue source for the game developers while gamers actually own their own items. So that's one really interesting aspect. The other is the two technologies that we're putting on top of it. So we're putting using smart NFTs, which is something that we've kind of developed and we're kind of focusing in on the gaming market mm -hmm. where um, you can have dynamically changing NFTs, which is a, a first in crypto. Um, where you can actually have, let's say, a sword within a game, upgrade and actually apply to the NFT, increasing its value, which is uh, a huge step in terms of gaming NFTs. And also we're introducing gaming loot boxes. And so game developers can throw items into kind of a mystery box and have users pay for them to get uh, items within their game. And we're trying to make this actually very transparent and open rather than the gaming standard, which is not transparent at all. Totally. Well, great intro there, Max. Thank you for that. And yeah, I, in terms of NFTs, I've seen blockchain gaming seems to be the area where uh, the most innovation is possible and the most excitement around NFTs are happening. Um, you know, in terms of the blockchain gaming space, I'm guessing you're familiar with you know, other NFT projects that are trying to help with gaming. Um, what do you see as, you know, the most added value that Altura is bringing to blockchain gaming besides other marketplaces that are able to, uh, you know, just sell games and, and do cross game uh, NFTs? Right, so I can answer that one. Sure, go for it. So as you've probably noticed, most of the NFTs on the market, like if you take a look at Crypto uh, Punks or even Crypto Kitties or all the new NFTs that are blowing up, they're really boring. So for example, it's just an image and a title. And this is also the same case in NFT gaming. It's pretty boring, the NFTs across the board. It's just an image and a name associated with that NFT. Mm -hmm. So at Altura, what we think we can do and the most value we can bring to the gaming world is to have uh, to add more utility and more dynamic aspects to these NFTs. So I think that the NFT world will likely transition from a bubble stage to something that's very sustainable if these NFTs get a lot more utility added to them. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're trying to do with the smart NFTs. And that's where we think we can add the most value, just making these NFTs dynamic, changeable, and just more utility across the board. And the other things that we're adding more value to and the other things that we're trying to work on value to gaming NFT to your game. So there are obviously a lot of very talented game developers out there that don't know how to transition into the NFT world. And this mm -hmm. is an issue because there's a lot of talent that's being suppressed. So the way we want to basically remove the, the barrier and allow all of this gaming talent to flood into the NFT world is by providing all of the infrastructure for uh, these game developers to integrate and cross over to the crypto and NFT space. So we think that by allowing all of this talent to come into NFTs and crypto, we're going to be adding a lot of value to the gaming and NFT world. So hopefully that answers your question. Definitely matched. Thanks for that. And yeah, that makes complete sense. 
with crypto punks and a lot of these NFTs, it seems like they're going for you know, tens of thousands of dollars for what is the underlying utility in these NFTs. You know, they're not smart. Most of them are just a picture. And, you know, there's whatever they're, how they're defining the value of, of how these are worth $10,000 and plus right. to $100,000 each. But when you have smart NFTs, utilities, and you're able to also make the dynamic NFTs with Altura, I could definitely see how in comparison, there is a lot of added value there. Um, so yeah. that, that makes total sense. And you touched on the, develop touched on the, develop the, the development ecosystem there. Um, and I think that's super important. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to get smart NFTs into games without the help of developers and, and game creators actually implementing it in the game to start. So maybe you can talk about the developer ecosystem uh, that you've created with Altura NFT, how you're getting those developers and game creators involved. Right, yeah, so I can, uh, I can take this one on as well. So uh, what we're doing is pretty much providing the uh, turnkey marketplace. So this is the base, so this is something that developers can directly tap into and list their gaming NFTs on. We're also providing APIs and SDKs. Um, so basically, in a nutshell, an API is just the tools and the instructions for connecting these in-game items into a video game. So this is the, the groundwork, the infrastructure for allowing these devs to directly uh, use these items in-game. And SDKs are a similar uh, thing as well. It's another tool in the toolbox to allow game developers to easily tap into the NFT market and bring these uh, in-game items into their video games. We're also allowing for col uh, full customization for the NFT front for these developers. So a lot of de developers might come to our marketplace and say, this does not fit the theme of our game. So we obviously cannot design a marketplace that fits the theme of every single game uh, because that would be impossible. So what we do is we allow these developers to fully customize their own page and uh, also potentially provide their own domain to their page. So this almost makes it seem like you're not leaving that game's ecosystem and that game's environment. So this is another step that we're taking uh, to remove the friction and the barrier for these game developers to come in. And again, we're also providing a lot more other tools like a game developer portal, uh, documentation, very simple documentation for these developers to read, and just um, removing all the friction there is for these developers to cross over. Very cool. I think that's a great added touch to have that customization and especially in gaming, have that feel like you're still a part of the game, even when you're in the marketplace. So very cool matched. And I would love to, you know, step back for a second and just get a snapshot for the viewers of where exactly Altura NFT is at with the marketplace, with getting on games, uh, with the smart NFTs and the loot boxes and all of that. Maybe you could touch on, you know, how far you've come and where you're at right now. Sure, I can uh, talk about that. Um, right now, we we did our, our main launch in April. And so in these three months, we've really developed out our, our tech. Um, so we've launched our mainnet marketplace on the 8th of July. And that was, we had, you know, we are working with a lot of games right now to get onto our platform and for their games and their gaming items to be featured on our marketplace. And so... Um, you know, our smart NFTs, they're, you know, they are capable as of now. Um, they are operations and they can be applied to these games. And our loot boxes will be launching by the end of the month. So we have already a very cohesive kind of gaming ecosystem for these developers that is on track being ready to go uh, by the end of the month, maybe mid-September. Very cool. Yeah, Thank just you. Add on to that, uh, we've definitely yeah. come a very long way. We almost have 12,000 uh, users uh, actively on the marketplace. And uh, like Max said, the vast majority of the tech and infrastructure is actually complete. Um, right now, we're just focusing on onboarding these games and growing the ecosystem. At some point. Definitely, I agree, Majd. And, and from what I would think, if you get a l really large game or an important game, that can bring hundreds of thousands of users to the marketplace and and obviously that's going to be an important aspect of having the right content the right games partnered with altura um so it's a sounds like you're off to a great start so far um and i'm curious as you continue to grow you did mention you have a lot of uh, nice functionality with the development ecosystem um is there any other incentivizations or um ways that 
and strategies that you're looking at implementing uh, to gather some of the largest you know, game creators and developers to start partnering with Altera? Yeah, that's an awesome question. So the main, our, our main way into creating this network effect of games pouring in is by starting somewhat of a snowball effect. So as we have more and more games on the marketplace, there's going to be a bigger and bigger audience already using the Altura marketplace, and there's already a massive player base. So if another game comes along, it's very um, wise for them to use the Altura marketplace because they already have a massive user base um, looking at their NFTs right away. So we're kind of utilizing this network effect and snowball effect uh, to potentially grow exponentially by having you know, more and more users on the marketplace, which attracts more and more users and more and more game developers. And on top of that, we've also implemented something called perpetual royalties, which is when uh, these NFTs continue to pay a royalty, uh, like sort of a passive income mm -hmm. to these game developers as they're bought and sold over time. So this is a massive incentive for these game developers to utilize Altura, and uh, they can pretty much set this uh, royalty to whatever they want. Very cool. Yeah, I think that's a great addition that I think game developers forget that if you have a secondary yeah. market and they continue to trade these NFTs, you could be making yeah. you know, 10, 50%, whatever you want, whatever you program in there yeah. after every trade. And then you know, after the game's been created, you're still having additional revenues uh, from the NFT. So great point there, uh, Majd. And um, I also wanted to touch on, you know, since this is uh, NFTs and you know, it's incorporated into blockchain and there's also a cryptocurrency involved, we didn't really talk about the Altura token and how that fits into the ecosystem. I would love to hear a little bit just about Altura's token. Uh, how does it create value for users of the ecosystem, the developers, and you know, does it create a sustainable ecosystem? So I can talk about that. So the Altura token is built to be the native token for the marketplace. So as of now, it's, it's a token with the lowest fees to use on the marketplace. So we're, you know, we are allowing integration with other crypto games that have their own token potentially, and we're allowing that integration. Uh, but we have our lowest fees on our token, and it also we will, you know, roll out benefits for our token holders, you know, to our specific NFTs. So there's a there's a lot of, you know, things that we're planning to do with our own token, and um, in terms of just not, uh, you know just having it be the marketplace token, but features such as our individual NFTs um, and having additional features uh, in, you know, when you have purchased merch um, and use our uh, technology platforms on, on games, let's say. Mm -hmm. Great. Thanks, Max. And uh, you mentioned, you know, there's a lot of things coming up for the token, but I'm guessing also for the platform as well. And I would love to get a glimpse into, you know, what are the major updates that your team is looking to roll out? I know one of them you mentioned was, was the loot boxes, but I'd love to hear, you know, what your team's primarily working on from now until the end of 2021 and what you're trying to bring to the platform, to the users. Yeah, so like you said, the, uh, the thing that we have coming up uh, most recently is the loot boxes. So we're actually looking to launch this in uh, late August or even early September. And uh, in a nutshell, the loot boxes are basically um, you buy a key to unlock a box which drops a random NFT. And uh, the way that the NFT is determined is by smart contract code that ensures that the random NFT that's dropped is verifiable and is truly random and cannot be tampered with. So this is unlike traditional games where uh, basically the game's server completely determines the outcome of the NFT. So there's no way to tell if the system is rigged against you or what the true odds are. Uh, but with Altura's NFT loot boxes, all of this can be uh, determined just by looking at the smart contract code. So this is something that we have coming up very soon and we're extremely excited for this. And uh, we hope to bring a lot of value to our community and the gaming, uh, crypto gaming industry as a whole. And on top of that, we also have the smart NFTs coming up as well. And the first way we intend to implement these smart NFTs is through a tree project. So we want to sell NFTs on the marketplace that represent trees. And every time one of these NFTs is purchased, we plant an actual sapling in the real world. And the NFT art will actually grow and change with the tree in the real world. And this includes the seasons as well. So let's say it's 
winter uh, in the location of those trees, the NFT art will uh, reflect the winter season. And if it's fall, uh, spring, and summer, etc. So this is something we also have coming up in 2021, which we're extremely excited for. Very cool. Smart Amazing. NFTs. Yeah. yeah that's it's amazing, uh, gentlemen. And uh, now for the viewers that are looking to get involved with Altura right now, uh, and also just game creators and anybody else in the ecosystem that you might be looking to add value, what's the best way for them to get involved and, and start utilizing Altura? Uh, we have the marketplace. Uh, that's open. That's ready for anybody. So users can come on, make their NFTs, participate in that. If you're a game developer on Telegram, you can join our chat, talk to us. We'll have a conversation with you. We'll get connected and we can see what we can do. We're happy to work and we're open. Um, you know, this, we've built a gaming NFT marketplace, but we're not, you know, we've created a marketplace which is super versatile because we're on an ERC 1155 standard. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's a, a standard where you can have a circulating supply of NFTs, a maximum supply, and you can have a circulating supply. Uh, which is makes it a lot more functional, uh, just as an NFT marketplace, just from the from the baseline. Um, so, we welcome game developers to come message us um, on our Telegram. Check us out. Uh, we would love to talk to you. Sounds great, Max Mashed. I will leave the links for the marketplace and the Telegram and the website as well, all in the description box below. All the best with the coming updates for Altura. I'm really excited to see uh, more and, and play with the smart NFTs and see what's in those loot boxes. So all the best with that and let's follow up in the near future. Thank awesome. you so much for having us.